Um, having said that, uh, yeah, so I went out of my way to not make it be not make it be like anything. Having said that, you can't help but be influenced by what you know. So all those languages that I'm kind of familiar with for one reason or another, there's little influence of them, you know, of all of them in Klingon, but hopefully not in any way that anyone can, can really pick out. As I was going along, I you know, just kind of realized that, oh, what you're doing here is just like what they do in Navajo. Don't do that anymore. So I wouldn't necessarily erase what I just did, but I'd make sure that whatever I did next was very, very different. Okay, so there's influence of these things, but, but not intentionally. Somebody did a study shortly after the dictionary came out uh, comparing Klingon to the uh, American Indian language that I did my, my uh, doctoral work on and determined that no, they are two different languages. Klingon is not based on that except in the most general, general kinds of ways. Uh, I was very relieved to read that uh, because that was, that was the goal. Um, but whoever wrote it, it was a Dutch person. It was, it was done at a, at a university in the Netherlands. Um, there is one suffix in Klingon that does come from that American Indian language directly and means the same thing. And I did that on purpose as kind of an in-joke for myself. This Dutch person didn't catch that. That was the one, one resemblance that was really there that didn't catch that. 